Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking in HD. Today I'm going to be making beef ribs, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make sure that you knock them out of the ballpark. These are going to be great because I'm going to first put them in the oven for a couple hours, and I'm going to bake them slowly. And that's going to make them nice and tender and almost falling off the bone, but not quite. Then I'm going to take them out of the oven and put them on the barbecue and finish them off by applying a homemade barbecue sauce. So that's going to make them nice and sweet, spicy and smoky, but it saves me from standing in front of the barbecue all the time. It's just a surefire way of making great beef ribs. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Cheers. Here are the beef ribs. And if you think this is a lot of beef, well, that's because it is. There's about four kilo or 10 pounds here. And so the first thing I want to do is, these are the, the rib bones here. I'm gonna um, cut every other rib bone just to get these down to size. So I'm gonna take my meat cleaver and cut these down because I want to uh, marinate them with a nice rub that I've created. And I'll tell you about the rub in just a moment. So I'm gonna chop these down to size and then I'll show you the next step in a bit. Now I've chopped these down into more manageable portions. And I just wanna show you something. Look at the marbling in this meat. I mean, this is why beef ribs are such an amazing uh, cut of beef. They have so much marble in it that once this starts to um, cook slowly um, and, and when you barbecue this, there's they're so tender and there's so much flavor in here. It's just, it's really amazing. Um, I think this is probably one of the best cuts of uh, beef that you can get for the barbecue. So here's our spice rub. Now in here I have about one tablespoon each of uh, paprika powder, uh, cumin, cinnamon, and about uh, half a tablespoon of allspice and about half a, uh, about one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all over these beef ribs to create a rub, and then I'm gonna put them into a Ziploc bag where they're going to marinate overnight. Hey, welcome back. It's been a whole day that these beef ribs have been um, in the fridge, sort of um, marinating in the, the spice rub that they're in. And now what I'm gonna do is I've taken a very large uh, aluminum tray here that I bought at the grocery store, just a couple bucks, and I'm gonna take all of these beef ribs and I'm gonna layer them on top of the onions. And before I do that, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of, a little bit of beer for good luck. And well, also the beer helps keep the, the beef ribs moist while they're uh, slow cooking. So I'm gonna put these in and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Now these beef ribs, because of the, the spice rub that I put on top, they've got a very sweet and spicy smell. And when we start cooking that, the aroma from these is going to be absolutely incredible. All right, let's have a look here. And there are the beef ribs in the roasting tray. And now I'm gonna cover this with tin foil and put it in the oven for two hours at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And there it is. Two hours at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay guys, it's been two hours. Let's have a look at the ribs. Ooh, very hot. Now, they're looking pretty good, but they're not coming away from the bone yet. And I reckon that's because in this uh, particular serving, I've just, I've got a lot of ribs here. You know, it's 10 pounds, it's quite a bit. So they need more time. Um, if you weren't making as many in the past when I've made this, um, two hours would be enough, but obviously in this case, uh, it's not enough. So I'm gonna put him in for another 45 minutes or so and then take him out. But um, when you're making them, unless you're making a portion this big, make sure that you check them after two hours. You want, if the meat is coming away from the bone, then it's time to take them off. Okay, let's talk about the barbecue sauce for today's recipe. I'm making my own barbecue sauce. It's a chipotle adobo uh, sweet heat barbecue sauce. 
um, that I've come up with myself and I really enjoy it. Um, if you don't want to be bothered with making your own sauce, it's no problem. Just use your favorite store-bought brand and wherever I use my sauce, just substitute the, the sauce that you're going to use. Uh, but if you do want the recipe for my Chipotle adobo uh, sweet heat barbecue sauce, go to my website cookinginhd.com and there you can get the complete recipe. Cheers. Okay, so this is what the final product looks like. Almost. Now we just have to get some barbecue sauce on this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these and put them into this bowl. And I'm gonna mix them with the barbecue sauce, which I'm heating up over in this sauce pan. And then we're gonna place it on the barbecue. All right, stay tuned. Okay, here's our first batch. Now I'm just gonna throw some of this barbecue sauce on top of them, toss them in, and then grill them up for a few minutes on the barbecue. Okay, we'll just grill these up for a bit. Okay, so I've applied lots of sauce onto these and now they're ready to go back in the bowl and ready to serve. So these are all done and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe of braised and barbecued spicy chipotle beef ribs. Cheers guys.